it is Shiva, it is Beaver, it is Scorpion Red Tarot. What's going on, you guys? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping, Pooh? It is me. Listen, we're about to get into the divine feminine new level journey reading yes god we got new levels that we stepping into new doors new stages and new phases baby and we're here to get some messages for the divine feminine so i want to give a shout out to all my ogs a shout out to all my newbies to all my babies for like sharing and subscribing and clicking this video um you know before we get into any message we always want to bow our head and lift our hands up and just give uh praises to god almighty so father god we just want to thank you so much for bringing us here um, this is a message for the divine feminine um, as we're stepping into these new levels father God we thank you so much for the promotion we thank you so much for the motion father God we thank you for this potion father God this elixir okay we be rubbing it all on our skin we be drinking it down getting it all in our spirit father God we just got this potion of that go get a winner spirit <laughs> father God I don't think that they've seen the best of us yet <laughs> they really don't understand Hold on. Anyway, so sorry, let thy not be disturbed. <laughs> Father God, I just want to send thanks and I just want to um, thank you for collectively bringing us here for the Divine Feminine. Please give us the guidance that we need to receive um, to continue to move forward and believe in our greatness. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. All right? All right? Thank you for being a friend. Boom, 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 boom. Travel down the road and back again. Okay? My heart is true. You're a pilot and a confidant. Father, thank you for being a friend. Come on now. All right, let's see what we got. What's the daily guidance that we got here for my divine feminine? And these new levels that we step into right now. Father God, please give the divine feminine guidance. What's that day-to-day -day guidance that we need to receive, that the ladies need to hear right now? Please give us guidance along this journey, stepping into these new levels. Thank you so much. Okay, I almost seen you. All right, what's this one? Brilliant idea. All right, you got a brilliant idea. It's time to jump on it. All right, the iron in the fire is hot, baby. You better, all right, you better brand it. You better trademark it. You better go ahead and launch it. You better stop playing with yourself, divine feminine, okay? Who over here is sitting on a million dollar goddamn idea that you ain't even, you know? Did you tell anybody about this? Yeah, you better not tell nobody. You know people be out here be trying to steal the sauce. You know I done told y'all that before. Don't let nobody steal the sauce. You feel me? You feel me? All right. So let's see what we got going on. It says, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action. And bring this idea into position. Mm -hmm. Brand it. Trademark it. Do it. Now. Stop playing with yourself. Let's see. Give us more information about this idea. What does the vibe feminine need to hear right now? Okay. We got the three of wands. It's like, what are you waiting for, Putin? And then you got the king of wands. Look at, look at, look at you sitting up there. <laughs> okay. We are reloaded. This is the perfect deck for the Divine Feminine Reading. I, I, when I picked this deck, this is the Dreaming Way um, Tarot deck. And I got another card sent down here. And then you got the Ace of Wands. I didn't even see. So you got a brand new beginning. Look, and then it's just like you feel so magical. You feel so inspired. You feel so courageous right now. You feel like you got that juice flowing in you right now. And whatever it is you're about to produce, baby, I just heard evergreen. I have an evergreen tree in my backyard, and I call it my tree of life, you guys. I always go out there, and I break bread. I put um seeds for birds, and I put, like, you know, toast. And also, I put, like, I have my uh, little cat out there named Dottie. Um, I go out there and I uh, put some little tuna fish and some cat food and stuff out there. Just taking care of my environment. With that king of wands right there, 
Because I don't know. I'm kind of getting like. Because you have this brilliant idea right here. I feel like you guys are trying to move from the wands energy into the pinnacle energy. Do you feel what I'm saying? So it's like you're trying to take your talents and produce crops and fruit. You want to see a full harvest. You know, you want to see a moving unit. You want to have a successful unit. I don't know if this is in your business, at your job or whatever. You just want your unit that you work for to be uh, notarized or you want to uh, win some type of award or something for um, your production skills or something like that. Like your region or something like you're the like most high producing unit or region in your company. So it's something about taking your talents, your skills and your ideas. Because the Ace of Wands is literally about like a new spark of life, like a new invention, a new uh, action. It is literally about travel, movement, excitement. I feel like whatever this is, it's like you're going to stand alone and you're going to stand out. And something about you being in the spotlight is something about you being, um, people are going to be able to, it's like, it's going to be a publicized growth. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, they're going to see you start from here and grow. It's like, people are going to see you plant this seed and they're going to see it sprout. You see how these things are sprouting? This idea, whatever this is that you're about to bring into life, is going to create evergreen. Evergreen. All seasons. Evergreen. <laughs> Do you understand? Even when it's snow on the ground, you still going to see those, baby. You still going to see that uh, growth. What is that? The foliage or something like that? I don't know. I feel like your adaptability to change right now is like extremely heightened. Not only that, it's like you could come into a totally new situation and expand on it. And I feel like you don't even know where these ideas are coming from. It's like literally like you literally did drink some like magical elixir like <laughs> <laughs> winter's potion like some winter season potion it's like I don't even know where this idea came from but that shit sounds amazing it sounds like something we should be doing let's let, let's start moving on it you might be the leader I feel like someone that could have come into a situation like brand new like this is a fresh start for you but it's like you quickly move up in rank. You quickly move up in stature and power. Or just being like the most popular or the most uh, decadent. If I may say. Something about your talent and skill level and how quickly adaptable you are. You see how she has white and green on. So it's like you, you have fresh, new healthy ideas that promote growth productivity and prosperity do you understand what i'm saying so people may be ready to like promote you right where you stand i, I feel like it's like um The only thing I'm seeing is a lot of green foliage and growth, like, uh, like a healthy surrounding. Um, I feel like you're, I'm looking at the throne, it's like you might have had a checkered past. You might have had, like, moments in your life where things were doing real good and then things would go downswing and then things would go real good. Like, you might have had kind of like... 
like I said, a checker past where you've had so many different experiences to bring to the table. Like you know what is successful. You know what has failed in the past. To bring more insight. And it's like people believe in you. Like your leadership skills right now are highly, highly lightened right here. I feel like you know how to lead the team. You know how to um, delegate the next action items for others. So it's like to make, you make the process easier and you make, it's like you make um, the unit. Well, I keep saying the unit. You make the whole unit look good. Very fashionable, very up to date. Very speedy. I feel like you, you guys, um, Adapted new trends quick. I, I feel like you guys are do. Do y'all do marketing or something like that? Because this, this girl is very fashionable. She's very up to date. But she has very clean. Healthy ideas. Again, something that promotes growth. Swift and adaptable. Hmm. I feel like you're a strong speaker too. You're a very, very strong speaker. And I heard it's nothing basic about you. Um, I feel like you're tired of playing some type of waiting game, though. So if it is something that you want to happen right now, I feel like you need to speak up and just stop waiting for people to start making movement for you. This is someone that's um, feeling a little bit impatient. I, feel, I just heard it. It's, it's like you, you, you paved your way already, so... I heard something, it's like, it's like, um, it's like you've done all you could do in a situation. I don't know if you've been like looking for a promotion or looking for someone to like highlight your skills or just like, uh, you know, like how on those uh, government intranets and stuff like that, where it says like employee of the month or, you know, we're uh, uh, employee recognition of the month goes to. It's like you've been waiting for your time to shine. Because then you will be going into the four of wands right after this. You know what I'm saying? So that will bring you some level of... Um, you feeling appreciated, you feeling invited, you feeling celebrated, you, you know, you being able to share and invite and, and, and bring people into your happiness. Like, I feel like you might have had a lot of plans that you wanted to get going, but it's like, it's been put at a halt because you've been waiting for a certain level of advancement, I want to say in your career per se, I'm not getting anything. Um, and we'll get to love. This is just your general, your general reading right here. We ain't even going to the career. We're about to get into the career. Let's actually, let's get into that. Let's go ahead and get into the career. Let's use these hustle cords. Hustle, 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 hard. Cause Cause do you see this? It's like right on the other side. It's like where you're trying to go. There's so much happiness there. It's like you're trying to get to the good part, but it's like I'm waiting on this sudden advancement from these people. I feel like somebody's waiting for a response for leadership or something to respond to a proposal or something. It's like I'm just waiting on something. And it's like, if I continue to wait on you, I'm going to let the best of my years pass me by. And I'm, I'm not going to let nobody hold me. I feel like you're, it's like you're tired, you know? And I got this idea and I want to strike while the iron is hot. 
I want to get while the getting is good. I'm like, you know, I'm kind of getting a full card here. You might just jump out there and do what you want to do on your own. Starting something new. It's like a beginning stage. And y'all know this is a new levels reading. Give me a card. What does this say? Power couples. Both got your own. Okay. I'm like divine feminine. You better speak your man into your plan. You better speak your man into your plan, girl. It is your world. Don't play with her. Do not play with her. Give me one more. <laughs> you better speak your man into your plan. Sha la la. Bank account on zero. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I'm going to have to give me some more information. Tell me what's going on financially with this, this money and stuff. With this, um. What the fuck is this saying? You are financially being taken advantage of. You are financially being taken advantage of. Wow. Because I kept hearing something about you, you waiting on some advancement. And the full bonds is about your home stability, your home happiness, like feeling comfortable, feeling acknowledged, feeling loved, feeling able. Because it's like if, if someone don't have no money, your bank account on zero, you feel like you are being financially taken advantage of, especially if this has something to do about your work. Someone not paying you rightfully what you being owed and you're not able to live the lifestyle that you want to live. Of course, you're not going to be thrilled about inviting people in your home and, and, and your comfortable space if it's not comfortable for you. You know what I'm saying? Things might be a little tight right now. What does it say? Spotlight phase. I told you. You might be, uh, it's not no mind about it. You definitely are going to be taking a new role in regards to your finances and career. It's going to be completely different. So again, like I told you, this is the new levels reading. Bad investments. I feel like you might have made bad investments in the past. That phase of your life is over because like I told you, you've had a checkered past, especially probably in your finances. Like you might be striking, not no might, um, some of you guys may be living paycheck to paycheck right now, but who isn't? Who isn't? And in this general energy um, deck right here, anything could have came out. The fact that your ideas are coming out, your talent, your creativity, your skills are coming out still. Wands is about skills. It's about action. It's about drive. It's about being seen. Honestly, it's about <laughs> fame, being public, you know, popularity. Yeah, all of that. Your next move, I honestly feel, might possibly make you famous. It's what you're going to be known for. I feel like you're going to attract someone that is just like you, Divine Feminine. You're on the correct stage in your life to really manifest and be that magnet, okay? To be that magnet. You got that spirit. But like, look, 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 like a moth to the flame burned by the fire. Okay, my love is blind. Can't you see my desire? Titty shake for that, bitch. Okay, listen. Ha! I love this. I love this Ace of Wands, the power couple, in the spotlight. I love this energy right here. Like, I love it. This means this is something new. This is something magical. This is something magnificent. I love it. Like Whoever this is, they're really going to see you shining. They're going to see you 
for who you are because you will start. They're going to see how you're growing. They're going to see how assertive you are and how developed you are. You don't you you don't get to the stage in life like by chance. You get to the stage by a couple of bumps and bruises, by having a testimony. And as you can see, this King of Wands energy that you're in, my beautiful, beautiful baby. Um, mm hmm. That means you grown. That means you mature. That's mean you've been past the page stage, you've been past the night stage. Yeah. You paid the cost to be the boss. And I definitely feel like it's time for people to really pay you what you rightfully deserve. Because I feel like your talent speaks for itself. There might be uh, people, a structure or something that's trying to keep you down. Not like in a, in a mean way, but it's like. If they can get all of this work out of you and, and all of these ideas and all of this talent out of you and feed you crumbs or feed you just enough to make sure that you're getting by and everything like that. Like, you, it, it's like sometimes, especially in workplaces and stuff, they don't want to pay you what you rightfully deserve. And I don't get that. It's like they really think like you'll just sit there and just be waiting for them to finally announce you to finally like bless you and do right for you like you won't leave. Like what? I feel like somebody might make a move. May just be tired of waiting for the things that you feel like you rightly deserve to come to you. I feel like I might... Go out there and get it by myself. Look, you got the anchor. You want security. I feel like you... And, and I, I just feel like you want to financially be free from structural ruin as well. I feel like maybe in your pastime, your family, you could have grown up struggling. You could have... And there ain't nothing wrong with that. You could have grown up on food stamps and public housing and things like that. I feel like you want to permanently see stability in your life right now. That's the only thing that means anything to you right now. And my talent is going to help me see that way. My talent is going to help me make it be that way. You know what you, you, know what you need to do right now. The more successful you are, the more the right person is going to gravitate to you. The person that you're meant to be with, they're going to meet you in your success season, in your spotlight phase. Okay? Hey, I put the spotlight on them butt cheeks. Hey, I put the spotlight on them butt cheeks. Hey, I put the spotlight on them butt cheeks. Okay, shout out to bag y'all. Anyway, <laughs> shout out to everybody from DC, from the DMV. What it do? Okay, we got that child energy. So this is like an important moment for you because it's about your growth. And to me, I feel like it's about protection as well because God protects children and fools. And to me, I feel like you're one of God's babies. You're innocent. And I feel like... um I, it, it, it's something about not knowing any better. I'm hearing something about like the money in your bank account. Like you might have spent all your money on your kids, or your money gets spent a lot on your kids. I, I feel like someone tries to hold on to their money, but I feel like their responsibility to their children is like they're innocent. They need certain things. I got to do, I got to pay for this daycare. I got, you know what I'm saying? But God blesses the child that got his own, baby. Let me tell you this. As long as what you're doing, even if you go to the negative in your bank account, if it's for you and your children, God going to, listen, 
anything that you spent, he gonna give it back to you tenfold. I feel like if you just um, and I feel like you're doing this for my children. You see how this woman is in this King of Wands energy? Maybe you you grew up without a daddy. You never really had that structure in your life to see what a real king was. It's like your mother was the king and the queen. It's like I turned out just fine. It, it, it doesn't matter right now about having a masculine energy around me and my children. I want, to, I want my children to see me to be not a survivor, but a leader. We passed that survivor stage. Listen, what we said is new levels. I'm teaching my children how to be dynamic, how to be a game changer. And how to be successful by leading yourself to that prosperity. You got to trust in yourself. You got to believe in your talents. You got to believe in your skills. You got to invest in yourself. This child is seeing a level of ingenuity. This child is seeing a different level of structure. It's being built into this child. It's like the faith level that you got into yourself to just like, regardless of what you have and what you don't have. Like, I'm getting that Cat Williams. It's like, I'm when Cat Williams says something about being rich, just because it's like, it, it, it's like, and whatever I, like I have everything that I'm supposed to have and whatever I don't have, it's just because I don't have it. You know, even with nothing, even with a bank account on zero, like you still the king of wands. I'm still the most talented, most popular, most desired motherfucker that you've ever seen. Don't nobody know what's in your bank account. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody know that shit. Don't nobody know that shit. I think you do realize that you're being taken advantage and that's why you're about to take your talents and your ideas elsewhere. I, you're going to take your talents and your ideas to someone that's really, really going to listen to you. And I feel like you're doing this shit for your kids. And like I said, God protect children and, and fools. And you are what? One of God's babies. Most treasured babies. Don't you ever fucking forget that. Okay? Don't you ever forget it. And they're going to miss you when you're gone. Like Chris Brown said, these motherfuckers going to cry in the car. Oh, they're going to cry in the car. They're going to cry in the car. They're going to cry in the car. Okay? Because this spotlight season, oh baby, it's going to be permanently tatted. They're going to see this shit everywhere they go. They're going to see something about you everywhere they go. <laughs> That's just like, say you a clothing designer and stuff. And they wanted to like underpay you for your work one whole time. It's like, all right, you may be Gucci, but I'm the one that designed it for you. Like, I am the one that designed it for you. Like, I'm the real king. I'm like, like, I'm the, like, I should be having an emperor title. For real, for real. You, 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 you using me for my talents and my gifts and stuff like that. And... Why y'all go around flaunting the name and the brand and stuff? But if I take my talents and if I take my gift and I go over here with it what you gonna do what you gonna do when I go start something new and now I'm your competition do you understand what I'm saying I might not be Gucci but every time you walk in Target bitch you see me and people can afford to shop wear more and, and get Target or Gucci I'm more affordable I'm more likable <laughs> Listen, listen, and I'm more stylish. I'm more up to date. I'm more adaptable. Remember we was talking about that earlier, you guys? And I'm more sexy. It's, ooh, that one, baby. Ooh, that bring a level of sex appeal to it. Oh, and I'm nasty with it. Okay. All right. All right. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. Look, that's that baby making music. Stop playing with it. Stop playing with it. And you got a children's line. Okay, stop playing with it. 
I like this, y'all. Okay, let's get into the love. Let's find out what's going on. In love. These are levels for my divine feminine. Give me two cards for love. Tell what's going on in love. And we're going to get up out of here until next week. So you guys can look forward to this reading. When, when do I have this on my schedule? Every Sunday. Every Sunday. You guys can look forward to this reading. I'm sticking to my schedule. I have a couple of more goodies coming out for you guys. I'm like very excited about it. I'm going to have to purchase me. I'm going to have to invest in my in my greatness, okay? All right? I need to speak to myself right here, okay? Because I'm about to do something new myself. And I'm about to lock it in, okay? I'm about to lock it in, okay? All right? <laughs> Why out here? Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> Ooh, plug it in. Hello? Let's get into this love reading. Hold on. Come on, y'all, Divine Feminine. Stop playing. Divine Feminine said, hold on, bitch. Plug it in real quick. Hold on. Let's, let, let, let's find out what's going Come on. New chapter is what I'm after in ecstasy. All right? Sensual seduction. Whoa. Want to take my... Why well, just her here, Eda? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, don't he look like he eat it too? Look at the way he looking at her. Oh, he, oh, oh, you're not going to tell me he not no eater. Peter, Peter, pocket eater. You're not going to tell me he ain't no eater. Ooh. A new chapter is what I'm after. Come on, Divine Feminine. <laughs> Look at building a future. The pop goes. Oh, 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 oh. I'm reloading. I'm reloading. Come on, Jesus. We we'll said, come on, Jesus. Come on. Come on. Come on. Do a titty shake with me, ladies. Come on. Do a titty shake. Do a titty shake with me, bitches. Holla. Come on, Jesus. This is what we like. This is what we like, y'all. Come on. Oh, the divine feminist said, I'm tired of waiting, <laughs> okay? These motherfuckers be out here bullshitting, okay? And I don't have it to do. I am not impressed. I did not get all dressed up. People showing up, they ain't on time. <laughs> they done missed it. They done missed it. it, 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 it it's, a few, it's a few people that rightfully so miss the opportunity with you because you are just too fine and decadent and you mean business ladies let me tell you something about let me tell you something about the divine feminine they mean business this season quickly will change the fuck up on you oh you don't wanna oh i'm good you see what divine feminine got on number one she's in that masculine energy Ain't nobody going to disturb her on her journey. Okay? She ain't no punta. She keep her pussy clean. Come on. Come on, Crooklyn. I ain't no punta. I keep my pussy clean. Da -da 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 Remember when they was in the bodega with RuPaul? Ba da do da do da do da 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 Okay, hello. We is reloaded. Boy. The fuck out of here. Okay? Listen. <laughs> Divine Bibman said, we don't want nothing from no past. We want something new, something long and strong that lasts long. Oh my. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I feel like this motherfucker that you got coming to you, baby. He got a whole pole that you could climb. <laughs> a couple of times, baby. A couple of times. He gonna knock that pussy down. One, two, three, four. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Bitch. This is the type of nigga that might fuck around. Like, for real. Y'all might have matching tattoos and all of that shit. And all of that shit. Something permanent. Building a future together. A new chapter. Because you know, like, when you really get into a happy successful healthy relationship hold on what i was telling y'all earlier about the divine feminine why she got that white and that green on and she holding that stick okay she holding that magic stick what hope oh. 
Are you a shower or a girl? Y'all, I'm trying to be messy. I'm trying to see it grow. I see how much you can show, but I want to see how much can it grow, baby. Okay. I see you going over to somebody's house. Look, why I see you going over to his house? Okay. Why is you showing up at this man's doorstep? You is willing to travel to this one, you guys. I feel like you guys just spend a long time just enjoying each other's company and just talking to each other before you even do anything intimate with each other. Like, honestly, I really feel like this is something new, a brand new chapter in your life. This is something that's going to bring a level of stability and permanent happiness in your life. I just heard finest keepers. He just said, I found her first. And it's new level in your life, too. Like, you done with all that checkered past bullshit. That's why you so much more mature now. It's like you so much more grown now. You just focus on yourself and your children. It's like I'll be the queen and I'll be the, and I'll be the king too. Right now, while we're speaking, like, yeah, I, I, I am the king and I am the queen as well. But it's time for you to get a real king. And, I, and then I know a lot of the reason why you like so financially strapped right now, ladies, is because you're doing everything on your own. Like, you really, really don't have the support that you should have. And, and that is why you're so rooted in, like, being happy stable and, and and seeing the growth and development in your life that, that that's why you so um you know in the past we used to try to hold on to things try to make it work try to fix it try to work things out now nah, we don't we don't do that anymore we adapt quickly to change and we use our magic stick we hop on our broom and we keep it moving You guys are traveling so far in regards to your personal goals. You've traveled so far, you guys. <clears throat> You're going to meet this new person in your spotlight phase. And you guys are going to be a power couple. This person is going to be a part of your success story. They're going to support you all the way. They love that self-empowerment about you. They love how strong you are. They can't even believe you did it. Like, you don't, you don't have a man at home. You're doing all of this by myself. I, I did all of this by myself. You ain't have no support, no. I just grow and keep it moving. I just focus on me and my kids. God protects children and fools. And you know I'm 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 protected because I'm one of his children. And one thing I ain't never is no fool. You attracting a permanent future of happiness and stability in your life, ladies. And I want you to know that. I want you to be prepared for it. I want you to be happy about this. And I know you've been tired of waiting. And I know it's been a lot of opportunities that done passed you by good. Because they really weren't meant for you. They weren't meant for you. And I promise you, once you finally step into this situation, if you're not already in this situation, because, baby, 2024 is the beginning of the best chapter of your whole lifetime. We have yet. Everything we've done before now is just learning. We have yet to start the beginning. We just on the first page of our success season, of our spotlight phase. It says new chapter. 
A fresh new start is always good for everyone. Doors are opening for this new phase within your love life. I told you. You being spotlighted in your career and business and in love in 2024. <laughs> Baby, this journey, mm -mm. that's why it's very important to have uh, a good judge of character around the people and the friends that you have around you because you're going to make a lot of people jealous. If, they, if you have people around you that are not truly, and I mean truly, happy and secure in their life, this type of happiness, this type of love right here, this success rate that people are about to see right now, it will make a lot of people that are not secure in their life jealous. You understand what I'm saying? We got ecstasy. Number one, it's just the way that this man looks at you. It's the intense gaze in his eyes about how much he desires this woman. And it's not just a lustful gaze. It's like, oh, I know what I'm about to do to you. I know it's, it, it's the moans, it's the facial expressions, it's the arch of the back, it's the clenching of the bed sheets, it's that I make this woman do it, boosts this, it just makes him arouse just thinking about your reactions to you making him come. <laughs> do you understand what I'm saying? You feel me? Because I be feeling like you be trying your best, baby. But he be bow, be knocking that pussy down. Like, bow, look at her. I see you trying to throw that pussy back. Girl, she your ass. Boom. That bitch. <laughs> I think a boss hog in the bed. Stop playing. And why I keep seeing Eater? <laughs> why do I keep saying Eater? I keep see the word eater i don't know why i keep seeing the word eater for some reason this man oh my god just devours you and a lot of the reasons why he be staring at you like that especially in public places it don't even have anything to do with sex he be wanting to eat you up bitch he be wanting to take you somewhere Prop you up on a countertop, pull them panties down, and slurp you down, bitch. This a na oh girl. Mm -mm. It says your partner um elevates your mind, body, and soul. This feeling of pleasure is electrifying. This that type of romance where. Just them talking to you on oh okay, you know what? Cause I this that type of romance, y'all, when he call you at work and you can tell when his mind going to a dark, lusty, nasty place, bitch, because the octave and the tone of his voice change, and you like, oh, what you thinking? Ooh, ooh. Just that alone make you fucking oh my good girl splish splash i was taking a bath Ooh, girl what <laughs> since building a future this one is a keeper your love life is ascending to the next level y'all this is so perfect this is so perfect it is so worth it can you give me some guidance in regards to um, some possible characteristics, some signs about this person that is coming into the Divine Feminine's life, please. And then we are up out of here, ladies, and I will see you guys next time. I'm about to do another, um, pick a card reading, you guys. It's about what to expect on your wedding day, who you're going to be married, all of that stuff. Ah, I cannot wait to get into that. Ah. I can't wait to get into that. It's going to be so magical. Alright. Give me some characteristics 
about the bedroom bully? Okay, about the bedroom bully. Power couple. Okay? Give me guidance. Tell me about this new lover. One more card. Thank you. Under the deck, what do we got? <gasps> Under the deck, we got the ring. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I cannot deal with y'all. I cannot deal with the divine feminine, y'all. These are the type of readings that I love. I love readings of the divine feminine kicking ass and showing empowerment. I'm not waiting anymore. I feel like I'm wasting my time. My talents are best. All the best kept secret and motherfuckers is going to find out about me i'm about to launch this idea i'm about to do this shit myself i'm tired of giving all of y'all my fucking talents and juice i'm about to launch my own business and my children are about to help me well i feel like your children is going to help you your children is going to see you doing this your children are about to see you in love. Your children are about to see this bank account go from zero to what Ah, uh, test the ring, an agreement, a pact, a cycle, trust, an alliance, commitment, contracts, partnership, circular, counting on promise, a bond, closure. I am loving it. What else we got here? Oh, we got the mask. We got oh, disguise, concealed ego. Projection, hidden motive, persona, presentation, theater, performance, putting on a show. Who this is that is, um, this person is hidden. Ooh. Mountain, obstacle, problem, distance, solitude, pride, block, cold, indifferent, and a barrier. Interruption, delays, stubborn. So why does person kick back in the May bag? This person, there's some type of obstacle. I feel like it's some type of obstacle where this person cannot approach you yet. There's a delay. I feel like there's something that if this person was to approach you right now, they wouldn't want you to know about. It's not finished. It's not done. It's not. And it could be some time. Like this person could be married right now. I just heard they hoping that it's not too late. They need to settle this agreement first. I, just, I heard they got to settle this agreement first. They can't confront you. They can't do anything before then. Because when they start something new with you, they want it to be permanent. Do you understand what I'm saying? So they can't come to you like that. They cannot come to you like that. Ooh. I'm nosy. Ain't y'all nosy? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't want to try to make this long, but... Bitch, I am no. Tell me about this new person that's coming in a divine fe uh, feminine future. Tell me about the ring, the mask, and the mountain in regards to love with this new person. You got the moon. I heard trust the time and like cycle because again, this is about cycles. This is about cycles. I feel like this person has to um, close this chapter, close this cycle first. He has to finish this cycle. I'm seeing something about a woman's cycle. It's like a, a woman's cycle. I did hear, I, I'm hearing something about menstruation. Um... I heard 
Aquarius, like if someone hasn't seen their period yet, it could be due to stress. Um, and make sure that you eat it right and drinking enough water. Make sure you get enough sunlight. Don't be sitting in up dark rooms and things like that. Don't be overeating. If you eat and make sure you're eating the right things. Make sure it's a lot of greens and pinks and yellows. Why well, I'm seeing someone eating them um green it's like a green bean salad or something, but it got like them wax yellow green beans and something like it's, it's like some really healthy food. I feel like someone's intention needs to be more focused towards health food and things like that. It's like it'll help better regulate your cycle. <clears throat> that don't have nothing to do with this. <laughs> I heard something about a um it's like a door is closed to you until it's like this cycle has closed off. It's some cycle that has to close. It has to be done first. Cause it's gonna be an obstacle, it's gonna be in a way. This person does not want you to be a secret. This person doesn't like hiding shit. This person feels like you're a very intuitive person. I feel like this person, um, I feel like the secret is that this person knows a lot about you already. They may be admiring you from afar. I just keep hearing this person knows a lot about you. And they're not letting on to it. So, like, that has a lot to do with that mask. This person, like, may watch you online or something like that. I just, I mean, I'm going to be 100. I feel like this person um, fantasized about being with you in this marriage. This person has just been married to the wrong person. I feel like this marriage could have been um, with the same person since high school or something. This is someone, I want to say that this person has been in a partnership for a very long time. It could be like probably 20 plus years. You know, like this person could have been with this person since high school or they've known each other since they were kids. And it's not that anything bad happened. Because, you know, sometimes you'll be thinking like there's like some shit going on in the background or someone cheated. Like, nah, it's just I just I just heard old love just falls apart sometimes it's like sometimes people just lose the chemistry that's just been you know like you know when you've been in a relationship it's been too many back and forths where it's just it's not enough glue to make it stick anymore that type of thing I don't feel like nothing negative happened however if they was to approach you before the finalization of the change was to happen it would create controversy. They would try to hide. They would have to hide you because it would create a conflict. And what's going on right now? And they don't need nobody saying, "Oh, I'm divorcing because th this person was cheating on you" or whatever. No, you know what I'm saying? Because that is not what it's about at all. You feel what I'm saying? So, whatever happens with you is going to be after this marriage is dissolved no one is going to be able to come and say oh what well, a divine feminine came and fucked this marriage up the divine feminine was talking to you you know you knew the divine feminine before this divorce was finalized no we got the divorce papers on this day i approached the divine feminine on this day yes i've been watching her for a long time i've been admiring her for a while but this woman don't know me don't have nothing to do with anything from my past. So this person wants to come to you with a clean slate. I feel like they're keeping their intentions hitting right now. Because there could be some controversy. Like this person could be going through a divorce right now. And it's an obstacle. They currently are in some type of contract or agreement. And when they come to you, they want it to be, they want to be innocent. You know what I'm saying? They wanted to be fresh. They wanted to be new. 
they want it to be um like playful like I, it's like a kid seeing a brand new toy that they seen on tv this whole time and they always said i i one day i'm gonna get this toy and you in the mall and you walking past uh uh the toy store okay and you see it right there and you say mom can i get this and you actually like what aqua Being able to see something and fantasize about something and making room for it, he got space. He has space to purchase, to purchase this, purchase this, and bring it home. He not about to purchase this new thing and sit it on a table with a whole bunch of clutter and all this no 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 he want to be able to appreciate and have room and space to enjoy his new investment and that's definitely you so um make sure that you're taking care of yourself a lot make sure that you're moving on these ideas and just know you're not going to be waiting for long you're not going to be waiting for long. I don't know how many times it's been said on this reading that there's a new chapter, new phase, new happiness, new growth, new ideas, new financial stability, everything. New, 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 all new you. You deserve it. I love you guys. Thank you for loving me. If you guys want to book a personal or private reading, number one, if you've made it to the end of this reading and y'all watch me all the way through, can y'all please put some stars in the chat? Let me see if y'all made it all the way to the end of this reading. Um, I thank you guys so much. Um, if you want to book a personal or private re reading with me, um, click the description. Um, message me on Instagram. Or email me at scorpionreds at gmail.com. The best way to show love and support me, V, is by clicking that like button. And by commenting down in the uh, comment section. Or in the chat while I'm live. It really helps the algorithm. I promise you guys I'm going to be doing my shit. I'm going to make sure I get these messages out every Sunday. I really appreciate you guys. Thank you for supporting and loving me. I'll see you guys next Sunday. Peace. And check my other videos out too.